heard, so they have a lot of people out there. So if they're watching live right now, and right here, Matt, you need to vote for Matt. So uh, right there, yeah. Uh, so anyway, thank you all for coming. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone that did come today, um, and appreciate your time on a, on a Saturday to uh, to come out. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm running because I don't feel like that our congressman is doing what he's supposed to be doing to protect our rights and our constitution. Um, there's a lot of things that he's done. So right now they're kicking the uh, uh, budget down the line until after the primary. Um, so on March the 9th, they're going to be voting on the budget. That's when we'll see what's actually in there and how they're going to hurt the American people. So we need to make sure that we're proactive and replacing who we have in office right now. Uh, the last time in 22 when I ran, uh, they went back to Congress on March 11th after the primary and voted themselves the largest pay increase in the history of Congress, 11%. Um, people can't even afford to pay gas, put food on the table. Um, they just they just think that that's just a good idea. Uh, when I'm in Congress, I, I would not think that that's a good idea, and I do have a common sense value about handling things. So uh, typically, most congressmen and women that have been there for a long time, they think that they they got all the answers and the problems are too complex to... to uh, fixed with simple solutions, but let me remind you of Donald Trump. Donald Trump took complex issues and made common sense of practical solutions. What was that? Let's get the walls built. Let's stay in Mexico. Let's start protecting America. Let's start putting America first. Let's bring manufacturing back. Let's create uh, jobs here in America. Let's get the economy going to where uh, we are uh, independent from any Russia uh, uh, interference from China. We got to do a lot, and there's a lot for us to do in the future. So um, I'm asked sometimes what makes me different than others. Uh, what makes me different than the other guy that's running? I, I would say I have life experiences that makes me different. Uh, my life experiences are different. And so, you know, when we're looking at the economy, I understand because I've been in business before. I know what it is to make payroll. I know what it is to cover overhead. Uh, I know what it is to struggle and to be hurt by our federal government because I've been hurt on many occasions. These are the things that makes, uh, uh, me, makes me get in this race. These are the things that drives me. It's been driving me for the last three or four years since 2020. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting there to make a difference for you. We don't have to pass everything that, that comes down the line. And right now, if for some reason Donald Trump doesn't get into the office, then the Congress needs to hold this administration accountable for their derelict of, of uh, duty and leaving our borders wide open. So if you're tired of the illegal immigrants getting free education, they get free housing, they get free medical care, they get free food, they, everything's free. And they're, they, we're giving them bus rides all over the country for free. And when they get to these sanctuary cities, they're getting credit cards, they're getting phone calls, they're getting cell phones. I mean, they're getting everything. And, and who's footing that bill? That's us, the taxpayers, we're doing that. When our veterans, we have a high number of veterans living on the street, our homeless is out of control. We're spending all this money uh, on, on our illegals and then on top of that, they want to think it's a good idea to spend three times more money giving it to Ukraine than to securing our own border. So we need to stop that. Ukraine doesn't need any more money. We know that they're corrupt. They've always been corrupt. And um, so we just need to uh, reestablish some of Donald Trump's policies uh, uh, globally. Um, I'm telling you, he managed the country from a point of view of strength and not weakness. And America, whether, whether some may agree or not agree, we are still America. We are still exceptional. We are still prideful. Uh, we just need to have a fair playing field. And we need our government 
to stop uh, allowing China to do the things that they're doing and then bring uh, back America first policy. So that's what I'm running on. And uh, I would definitely appreciate your vote support on March the 5th. Uh, if anyone's watching, we've got cameras going, if you're watching and you would like to be a poll uh, a greeter at one of the polls in the district, we would sure love to have your help holding up signs, uh, shaking people's hands and uh, winning the vote. We can get this done. We're at the finish line right now. And with your help, we can get this over, over the line. And just real quick, one last point. Um, our congressman tells, tells a group of people on a phone call and on the radio that 300 people doesn't really matter. That 300 people called his office and told him to vote for uh, uh, Jim Jordan and he voted for Mike Garcia, which is a guy from California, uh, just threw our vote away. And so I want to tell you that 300 people matter. You matter. You in this room matter. Everybody matters. And so uh, that would have been a vote that Jim Jordan would have got from me uh, if I was there. He would have definitely got the vote. He would have been our House uh, Speaker. And um, I'm telling you, I think that we need strong leadership like that in our House and our government uh, to really drive our country in the direction that we need to go in. So anyway, March 5th, I would love to have your support and vote. And I thank you all for again for coming. I hope you have a great day on this Saturday. The sun's starting to shine. Um, and uh, we've got water and food. If you want to ask questions, we've got that uh, available to you. And it was good to see Matt stop by uh, running for District 25. We, we need good people in, in D.C. And we can change it. We can change it by just voting differently than we've ever voted. So anyway, thank you so much for coming. And I hope you have a great day. Yeah. That's it. I watched the news a lot. And how a, a federal judge could have more power than the president. And, and you know, that just, that just barked me every time I see that. Well, uh, I'll tell you what we should have probably done is start an impeachment inquiry on the, on the Supreme Court. That's probably what we should have done. They try to tell Texas we can't secure our border when they were choosing to do it. I think that's a problem. And the Supreme Court, it's a lifetime appointment, but that doesn't mean they get to stay a lifetime. We can make those changes and hold them accountable. That's how our government's set up. Uh, Congress has been, the Republicans have been in the power for over two years, and they have not held this administration accountable. They could have very easily said, we're not going to pass another thing. We're not going to give you your, your uh, Build Back Better policy, your Bidenomics. We're not going to give you the Green New Deal. Well, we're not going to do anything until you're doing something that we need, and that's secure this border. That's what we really need. It's hurting America across the country. That and energy independence. Energy independence. That's exactly right. You know, me and my wife was driving down uh, some some country road in the district. I think it was in Hill County, maybe. And and it looked like a farm of them big windmills. You've seen them? There's a farm. I mean, as far as I can see, they had these big old windmills everywhere. Not one of them was spinning. And, and, and it was a cloudy day, so I'm sure that not once, <laughs> not one uh, solar uh, panels. Uh, what? Uh, what do they call them? The solar panels. Not one of them was probably producing any electricity on a cloudy day. So anyway, yes, we need to be independent, energy independent. I like Donald Trump. We'll just drill, baby drill, right? Uh, let's get America working again. So anyway, help yourself to some food, some water, some coffee, and uh, thanks again for coming on a Saturday. Right. Don't get quiet on me now. We can, <laughs> this is where you need the music playing. <laughs>